So here's a quick look at how I do my water changes here in the aqueduct. Really, really simple setup. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm just matching the flow rates in and out. On the outlet side, we just have a little bit of airline tube, which I have here. And have it stuck here to the glass so that it's there's nothing going to get in here. So none of the fish are going to get in there. But it's, um, it's at a point where the water level won't drop too low. So even if I didn't get my rates right, I walked away. It's not going to uh, it's not going to drop down too far and cause any damage to the heater that I leave around here. And that's just going down here, pipe hooked up, and that is going currently out to the drain because I just finished watering all the plants. Now we also on this side have our canister, which is our carbon filter, and that is just trickling water in here slowly and that is replenishing it because the water had got a little bit green just because the amount of sunlight and uh, that it's getting during the day so now we have water coming in water going out that is dechlorinated and um, really nice and clean and clear I do it during the day during the kind of height of the day if I can around lunchtime because it's getting a lot of sun so it's preventing the water temperature from dropping when it's coming out of here um, none of the heaters are actually on at the moment, so the water is up really nice and warm. Got up to 21, 22 degrees this morning, just with the sunlight. So, I'm going to leave that run for maybe an hour. We'll turn over the whole tank. I'll add in a small bit of fertilizers. And, um, and that's it, job done. That's how we do water changes on the aqueduct.